birds <laughs> um this is copper he is my little baby i guess he's gonna be joining us for this video today he's um he's our special guest Aww. i kind of have a problem with keeping clothes that i don't need i wear the same like five shirts three outfits every day and i have a closet and drawers full of just clothes that are maybes that I've been keeping just in case I need one day or even just because I like them. If you're not familiar, minimalism is basically a lifestyle. It's not just about having a little bit of stuff. It's more about appreciating the things you have, making room for the things that you love the most, accepting that less is really more in life and the less that we have the more time and value and appreciation we can put into the things that we cherish i am by no means trying to become a full-blown minimalist because minimalism means different things to many different people but i do want to become better at intentionally buying things and putting to use everything that I own. I actually haven't been buying excess clothes or excess accessories or anything. I actually am, I don't have a problem with buying things anymore, but I do have a problem with keeping the things that I just no longer use. This is kind of going to be a, like a big series on my channel of just me and my journey towards a more minimalist, simple life. It is going to take some time. But this is the first video. We're going to start with my clothing. I'm going to write down the number of pieces and we're going to kind of keep track of it just to see how much I truly have given away. And yeah, so I'm excited. I will get back with the number. I probably put it on the screen somewhere here. But yeah. <laughs> I'm about to put this in the laundry. So there's a bunch of clothes in here. These three drawers are mine. And then these three drawers are my boyfriend's. This is our closet. The hats, the random shit. All of my bags are in this big suitcase. We don't have any <laughs> extra dressers or anything. So a lot of my clothes are kind of just like in these two little baskets. This side is my side as well as this side. This is John's part of the closet, okay? Let's let's just let's just think about that real quick. This is all mine right that is his in those three dressers and then this is kind of a mix of me and john's stuff but mostly my stuff um these are my socks and underwear Let's see these are more shirts and more shirts and tank tops and workout clothes so all of that not to mention i do have a box of clothes or a box of shirts under here they're just like random shirts from like high school. Honestly, it looks like a lot, but I have, I have downsized so many times. I've gotten rid of like 20 bags, all right? And I still ended up with all of that. So, it's not looking good. Holding myself accountable this year, we are going to make a change. And I'm excited, I'm excited. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my clothes in one pile, just like Maria Kondo does. She says, put all of your clothes in one pile so you can see everything you own and think to yourself, why do I have so much and do I need all of this shit? I'm starting this is because we're also moving out soon into a new apartment. I think decluttering will make the move so much easier, not to mention we're on the third floor, so moving into here was very, very tiring, carrying so many boxes up three flights of stairs. Copper, you are in the way. I'm gonna bury you, boy. I'm not gonna lie, 
I, I've decluttered my room a lot, okay? I usually clean my category or my location, so like the dressers will be clean and then the closet will be clean or whatever. Putting everything in one is, it's different, all right? Just finished taking all my clothes out, minus the laundry and the coat closet, but this is what we're working with. All these clothes and a copper. <sighs> this is gonna take me a lot longer than tonight, so that's great. All right, so it's the next day. That was decluttering yesterday. After like five minutes, I stopped myself and I was like, all right, this is gonna take a lot longer. I mean, I knew it was gonna take long, but it was gonna take really long if I started decluttering now. And I wanted to get a count of everything. So I went ahead and stopped and I actually started sorting everything by like category, like uh, dresses, tank tops, t-shirts, jacket, and I got a count of everything. So I did most of that yesterday. Then I had a mental breakdown. And then now, Today I am going to be decluttering, like actually decluttering. I'm gonna show you my piles and I'm gonna give you my numbers. So, this is what my room looks like. Button ups, jackets, cardigans, coats. Um, these are all sweatshirts right here. These are my long sleeves. These are pants and shorts, leggings, sweatpants. These are my t-shirts, tank tops, and dresses and rompers. I did add everything that was in the laundry too. So this is every piece of item of clothing that I... <laughs> oh my god. This is every piece of item of clothing I own and the ones that I am wearing. Yeah, it really surprised me the amount of things that I have. Why do I have 35 pairs of jeans and pants? So like jeans, leggings, why do I have 35? I wear probably like one pair of work pants and then I wear probably like two different jeans and my leggings and that's it. Like I, I don't know why I have and some sweatpants, but I don't know why I have 35 pairs. Like, that is insane to me. I think I'm gonna start with the pile of tank tops since it seems like it's gonna be the easiest pile to go through. I do like this tank top. I do think it will be worn as long as I know it's there. This item, I really like this item and I think it's really cute. I think I'm gonna have to keep it for now. This is cute, but it doesn't really fit me right. So I'm gonna give that away. I don't wear a lot of these very often. That's what's hard. It's like, I don't wear these very often at all. So I could like arguably get rid of everything and be totally fine with it. <laughs> I just don't know if I'm ready for that. <sighs> okay. I'm thinking too hard on this one. That's not my gut feeling. So I gotta get rid of it don't like that. I don't know if I'm having like a hard time differentiating between what is sparking joy with me and what I just find like kind of practical for me. Clothing is probably not something that sparks a lot of joy for me but I think what the hardest part is like I can't I don't know exactly what my style is because I'm very simple so I just wear like whatever but at the same time sometimes I like to get dressed up and look nice. Am I gonna have a moment where I think I want to wear this? right because i do have those moments sometimes don't wear that i wear this very very often for working out especially um don't need that this is the pile i'm keeping and this is the pile i am giving away it looks pretty split evenly in half so i'm actually pretty uh, pretty proud of that then again this is my first time decluttering so i could go back over these again and decide that None of these, or a lot of these, I don't actually wear, but I did still keep a lot just for now, because, again, this is a journey, this is a tryout, you know, we're taking it slow. Okay, so I got this at Target, like, a year ago, and I was so excited for this, because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's so cute for a little cover-up, you know, to wear at, like, 
the beach or just in general i forget i have it and then it's just not something i like choose to wear but i mean i think it's really really cute <sighs> should i give it a shot i don't even think i'm an overall type person like i don't think that's in any way a part of my style or anything that i would choose to wear but at the same time i just i want to try no see that's that's the sign right there that's the sign to give it away Okay guys, I think the pile that I'm giving away is more than the pile that I'm keeping. I know it's like structured differently, but like the results will be in when I finish everything, but I'm 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 very excited right now. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> this dress right here, I wore this dress for my 16th birthday. I had like a cute little sweet 16 and like invited some friends. Mom like went all out with my decorations. It was so cute, love her. And so this like kind of takes me back to that time, but I have never worn it since then. I don't really see myself wearing it again in the future. And if I do want a nice red dress, I probably will either go out and get it or I will probably just stick with some neutral color like I usually have so obviously the difference is this is a little bit more bright and this is a little bit more neutral that's kind of more of my style now I think more of the colors I want to wear I just bought these jeans they're from H&M they are actually one of the first jeans I've bought in years that I actually felt so good in. It's a constant struggle for me. I always am jean shopping and I can never find jeans that I feel perfectly okay in. And I do feel really good at these. I have had some points where I like put them on and I'm like, ugh, I just don't like the way I look or whatever. But that just goes back to like the mood I'm in. But overall, love them. And then these are my skinny jeans. Also really like these. But these are the jeans I always go to. I can I can count on. So And it's good to have a pair of skinny jeans. Despite what the um social media trends nowadays say. These are the shorts I gave away, skirts and like sleeping shorts and stuff. These are all the jeans and leggings or sweatpants. <laughs> Still looks like a lot, but these are all the shorts I am keeping. So all of these here. I do have a lot of workout shorts, I will say, because I do like having nice workout fits because it makes me feel good and when you feel good, or when you look good, you feel good. So. And then these are all the jeans and sweatpants and leggings that I'm keeping for now. really hard <laughs> not that I'm like stressed at the amount of things I have the reason why I have a lot is because I like them all and it's just hard to get rid of because they're all very different I like them for their the way that they look and the way that they fit 
but it's like I could like a lot of these for the way that they look and the way that they fit kind of just like a double-edged sword and I'm having some trouble right now but like this is my keep pile I have a small giveaway pile over here I probably am gonna have to declutter a couple more times it is hard I do applaud people for doing this because it is definitely especially the people that have like capsule wardrobes that are like 10 items that's crazy to me <laughs> shopping and I had like one hot dog today <laughs> I have one hot dog we got fried chicken and all I've been thinking about is eating fried chicken now and but I don't want to stop like I want to get this done <sighs> all right y'all so this is where I'm hitting a slump here I did finish all of the long sleeves however this is the pile I'm giving away, and this is the pile I decided to keep. Ugh, that's so much. I mean, I know this is still progress and everything, but that is a world's difference. Come on now. It's a progress. There is no set of rules to getting rid of anything. If you're going through this too, do not shoot yourself down. We got this. We're in this together. It's been a couple days now. I did count all of my categories and I am very impressed with the number of items I've given away. This is the whole giveaway pile. Every single one. So I have 497 items of clothing and I now have 286. 211. That's a lot for the first declutter. That definitely goes to show all my research on minimalism and decluttering. It really taught me a lot. You definitely just can't get rid of everything at one time. You know, it's going to take you some time to become who you want to be. And that's how I'm going about this journey. So this is very interesting for me. But today I'm going to go ahead and put all of these clothes into bags and kind of sort them out and then I'm going to do m the clothes that I'm keeping and I'm going to fold them and put them away but yeah this whole area right here is gone still a lot but we've come a long way too so you gotta embrace that journey all right shirt from a concert with John Bellion. It's called Beautiful Mind. Extremely love this shirt. I know this isn't like a I'm showing you my clothes haul type whatever but I love this shirt and a quote that I love to live by and I just thought it would be a good positive addition to this video. It says money is not the key to wealth and I think that is very enlightening and empowering and there's just many different meanings that go behind it that I think a lot of people can take from it. Like when you really think about it, wealth isn't just about the amount of money you have or the amount of assets you own and how many designer things you have to be flashy in front of other people. It's really just about how you live your life, how you value the things in your life, how you handle your situations and just how you appreciate everything around you. And I think this is one thing that's also a big part of me going into my minimalist journey is I've never been like a flashy person. I've always been very organized 
I've never been someone who want like the nicest, flashiest thing, but I do take for granted a lot of things that I already have. I mean, I have six bags of clothes to give away right now. And just kind of like redefining what makes me wealthy in life, like my relationships, the clutter in my life, the clothes I have, social medias, the people that I talk to, like I've done a lot better at that. But I want to really hone in on it this year and I just think it's a very... It's a quote I'm definitely going to live by this year and I just thought I could share that with y'all and maybe inspire you to figure out what your wealth is and what is your key to wealth and what makes you wealthy in life. So, thank you John Bellion. Love you to death. And I have no space in here. These are all my t-shirts. These are the rest of my t-shirts. All these are just my tank tops. And then these are the dress shirts and then my jerseys. All my t-shirts and tank tops fit in two dressers. Even the ones that I want to hang up are all fitting in, one, in two dressers. This is ex exciting for me. This is so exciting. <laughs> I have my jeans all in here. Fit sweatpants in this row. And then I have basketball shorts, skirts, and dressy pants. And then I have all my spandex, leggings, a couple more leggings, and then regular just workout shorts, sleeping shorts. And I added in dresses. So the dresses are on this side. And then we have a couple dresses left down here. And I don't have anything else to put into this side of the dresser. Maybe I'll put my, my like undergarments in there when I do that. So these are all the like, lighter long sleeves and then the dressy long sleeves. I'm very proud of the way that the rest of my dressers are because it's completely filled and that's pretty insane. Like everything is fitting into six dressers. That is absolutely insane to me. If you used to watch my old videos, you would see that I had like a whole closet full, two different dressers, like actual dressers full of things and I just, everything was everywhere and I've really come a long way, so. <laughs> Crazy.